August is National Black Business Month, and every week News 6 will be spotlighting black-owned businesses rooted here in Central Florida. This week we are highlighting a Sanford woman who not only works to get results for other small business owners in her community, she also takes the time to mentor teens as well. News 6's Jerry Askin spoke with her today. I'm a strong believer that you are in control of your future. Thank you, man. A typical day in Sanford for 31-year-old Maggie Gaines here at Bright Light Consulting. EIN for your nonprofit. Her 9 to 5 is helping people learn the ins and outs of starting a business and ways to apply for grants. And she even offered a few free classes due to COVID-19. A lot of black business owners here in Seminole County obtain funding for their business so that they can stay open. But her passion to give back was fueled by her struggles as a girl becoming a foster kid at five years old. When my back was split open, cops would come. It was just terrible scenes. We were finally taken away and my journey in the system started. A journey, she says, often left her empty. You really truly feel no one cares who, you know, what you do. And I know at one point I, I was that kid. But now she's happily married and spends her free time helping girls in Seminole and Orange counties stay on track through her nonprofit called Saving Our Daughters. To let them know that there are brighter days. To let them know that even do not let your past determine your future. And now known by many as Boss Lady, she knows her future and her nonprofit wouldn't exist without her own daughter. Being raised in the system, I just thought about... How, how, what, what could I teach her? What could I possibly teach her? And then I wanted to start SOD to save her, but to save any other young girls that cross my path. Her eight-year-old daughter Malia, known as Baby Boss, has two of her own nonprofits, and one for her is personal. Now educating her peers about suicide prevention after her father died years ago. Well, I told them like. Don't like um, give up, just like stay strong. God had other plans and I'm so thankful because of my past, I'm able to help young girls and I'm able to help businesses. And Maggie Gaines told me today she wouldn't be where she is today without her family, her foster care and her faith. She said, in fact, she just got the all clear to soon open a group home to help foster kids who are transitioning out of the system. In Seminole County, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, New 6.